Hi, my name is Waltart. I will be doing a Twitch tutorial today. Um, first, what you want to do is you want to get all of your scenes. As you can tell, I have different scenes right here for uh, the scenes that I want to Twitch. So first, what you want to do is you want to go frame by frame, and while you're going frame by frame, you want to look for the movement in the character. And whatever you're planning to Twitch, that's what you want to aim at. You don't want to worry about the back. And I'll show you an example of that at least. But you want to go frame by frame. As the character moves, you cut. You push Control D to cut while you're twitching. Every time that the character moves, that's when you want to cut. And when it doesn't, you don't. So you want to grab this, hold Shift, and you want to slide it. After you finish sliding it, you want to go to keyframe assistant and you want to push sequence layers. Do not make sure make sure that you do not when you're doing sequence layers, make sure that you do not have this checked. Make sure that it's not checked. After that, you want to pre-compose it. Now what you want to do is you want to type in Twitch the Pro or you can do it. If you have effects bar, you can do it here. I use a character bar, so I type in Twitch or Pro. You want to make sure that you're matching the frame rate of your composition. So, my composition is 30 FPS. So, I will be putting 30 FPS. You want to leave this where it is. Your image prep, you want to put that at contrast and edge enhance. Put motion weighted blur, and then you want to put inverse with smart. After that, you want to pre-compose it. Now that you pre-compose, you want to pull up the time remap, which you can do with Control or C on your keyboard. You want to get your keyframes. You want to extend it. You want to extend your keyframe to the point that you want it at. So your marker. And then you want to grab both of those keyframes. After you do that, you want to push F9. What I do is I use flowchart for mine, and this is the graph that I use. But if you don't have flowchart, what you can do is you can go to graph editor. And with graph editor, you can use a graph like this. And this is how the scene will look. And that's the process that you want to do for twixing. And you basically uh 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 two girls, my dog now. Uh oh, uh oh, oh I feel I let you down. I said I love you so I said I love you ma. You take my love for granted. I don't know why we're headed. I make some perks with Xanis. I make some Molly believe. My girls are doing her thing. Now I seem like this. Might possibly you should be able to twitch this. Now with a scene like this, with all of the stuff that's going on in the background, you still want to just twitch what the character's movement is. So every time you see the guy in the middle moving, that's when you want to twitch, not what's going on in the background. Because if you do that, it'll make your twitch look weird. It'll be a bunch of, like, you know, dead frames in it. You just want to twitch based on the character and not the background. Same thing that we did with the other two scenes. And there you go. That's how you twix. Hope that this was helpful for everybody. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. And put more tutorials.